Good morning, Whitehead Wildcats! Buenos dias, Whitehead Wildcats! Today is Tuesday, February 9th, and we are today celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. with some another amazing artwork. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. So, this is, we are outside Miss Bloom's third grade remote classroom. And so they submitted different writings yes. about Martin Luther King Jr. And Ms. Bloom created these posters based on what the kids researched. We're going to start off with, though, the joke of for Tuesday. Woo! Why is a baseball stadium always cool? Because I'm in it. <laughs> Why is it always cool? Because it's know. full of fans. Oh, oh, basketball fans. Oh. <laughs> I, I love, love these that. jokes. Yeah, I do too. They're mm -hmm. like classic dad jokes. Yep. They're amazing. All right. So for lunch today, you will be having chicken nuggets or a sun butter sandwich with string cheese with baby carrots and applesauce. And tomorrow for breakfast, you will be having an oatmeal apple bar with chef's choice of fruit. Ooh. Oh, that sounds good. I know, oh, right? Oh, apple bar. Yeah. All right. Do we have birthdays? We do. Just, oh, actually, that's a lie. We don't. Oh, no birthdays. No so birthdays. Let's go over here. All right. So we have these posters about Martin Luther King Jr. that he did not use force to bring people together. Mm -hmm. He believed in peace. He wanted to make a difference in the world. He knew there was a lot that was wrong that he wanted to see right, but he didn't believe that using force was the way to do it. He didn't know what racism was until the age of six. That's awful. You know, and I, I feel like between when you're born and when you're a little toddler and a, a little four-year-old, five-year-old, I don't know that you, I don't know that you know race. You no. Know, I think you just see people for people. Yep. And whether, whatever their color is, it just doesn't matter. And then all of a sudden, our children begin to learn things that they feel that color of skin should make a difference. And it doesn't. Mm -hmm. And boy, do we, we're still on a journey to help each other see each other, yeah. not for the color of our skin, but for the content of our character. Absolutely. Which is what Dr. Martin Luther King referred to. He changed his name from Michael to Martin at age 28. Hmm. And when he would go out to protest, he would wear jeans, as he knew he would be thrown in jail, even though he was peacefully protesting. He was jailed, not 10, not 20, but almost 30 times, 29 times. That's crazy. He joined in the bus boycott in Montgomery, Alabama, in which no black person rode the bus for over a year to protest segregation. And I bet that hurt them. It did, because kiddos, most of the people who rode the buses were the black people at that time. Yep. And the fact that they went without public transportation. For a year. They walked, they, yeah, they did everything they could in their power to get from one place to another without using public transportation. Hardship but they were trying to make a case mm -hmm. for what they believed in. He had four children and married Coretta Scott King. It took 15 years to get a national holiday in his name. His wife continues to do his work. One of the greatest civil rights leaders of all time. Here's a quote. Fear not, we have come too far to turn back now. His I have a dream speech was improvised as he was giving it. And there's a picture of him the National Mall giving his speech. You know what sometimes I think people don't realize is if he wouldn't have been killed, he would be alive today. This I know. was not that long ago. I know. And that's crazy because we think of Martin Luther King Jr. as somebody who is long gone, like it was so long ago. Yeah, the children here in this school probably think, oh my gosh, that was forever ago. But it wasn't. No, no. Um, they did peaceful protests so I hope with your teacher, I, I think in our school, we do understand who Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is and what he stood for, but it's always worthwhile to go back every year and reflect. Here's some famous words again. We will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Ooh. Boys and girls, this means in your classroom, when you see wrong, when you see somebody being judged wrongly, by not saying anything, it is as if you are guilty of doing that deed. Yeah, you are part of the problem. You have to stand up for what is right. Not screaming, no. shouting, shoving, pushing. No, he did not do that. No. So when you see something wrong, when you see somebody hurting, peacefully, 
make your statement and try to be the solution and not the problem. Absolutely. So um, over here we have the third grade writing progression. So I looked at this and I looked at all the writings of the third graders here and they did a really nice job. What I looked for, capital letters, periods, sentence construction that makes sense, and here's one sentence. He gave the speech so people could understand that you do not have to judge people by their skin color. Well constructed sentence yeah. for a third grader. So kudos to Miss Bloom's third graders. Keep on writing and keep on fighting peacefully for what is right in our world. Absolutely. All right. Time for the pledge. Okay, stand up. Come on up, guys. We're going to do it in Spanish today. All right. Yo, Yo prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios indivisible con libertad y justicia para todos. I will be respectful. I will be respectful. I will be responsible. I will be responsible. I will be safe. I will be safe. I will be kind. I will be kind. And I will do my best today for this day will come. No more. Make it a good one. Absolutely. Bye guys. Bye.